Thank you to everyone who is watching this series and thank you to all our new subscribers. Rod and I trust you are enjoying and please do drop us a line if you have any questions. Tracy, France, Rod and I planned two days at Mana Pools. We entered Zimbabwe via Kasangula and after a brief stop at Victoria Falls we headed towards Mana Pools, a journey which would take three days on some really dodgy roads. Zimbabwe is landlocked so we encountered numerous trucks and some seriously crazy driving along the route. Good morning. It's the 7th of August. We are at Mavwe Camp. We drove here yesterday from uh, Kasani, from Tebi River Camp. Um, these big camps could actually learn a heck of a lot from the smaller camps. So as you drive in, a wonderful, magnificent knobthorn tree. It's already starting to go green. It is, uh, as I said, August. There's a lovely fire pit. Well, we obviously put out the fire last night uh, when we went to bed. Um, a cute little grill um, made out of what looks like a dive cylinder, a gas cylinder of some kind. Then you have this little structure with a very useful table. Uh, France is making making coffee. Say hi, France. Morning. And um, they provided this huge drinking water tank. Uh, that's me making tea. This is the important bit. A beautiful hot shower um, with hooks and a wee shelf to put your things on. Um, there is donkey and through the trees not sure how much justice the GoPro is going to do to that we can see Lake Kriba. Last night we walked down to the shore and watched the sunset so we've got some quite spectacular photos of that. 12-18, 28 degrees we have just approached the Sengwe River. The scenery has changed. All the mountains that were brown are now green. It's clear. You can see all the way to the sand. Rod, what are you doing? I'm going to get this jetsy flying off. <laughs> He's still alive. Where's the tissue? Squish! That is the Wild Dog approved method of tetsify eradication. We had a one night overnight at Matusa Donna at the office as the road to the campsite was in seriously poor condition. We made it along the road despite the trucks and the crazy drivers. We're at the entrance to Mana Pools. It's actually really, really pretty. No citrus fruits allowed. Oh! Draw especially for you. No citrus fruit allowed. Run 
And we've got some skulls of various animals. Good afternoon. Hi. I'm good, man. from you. No. Oh, that's about us. Thank you. We are camped literally at the gate, um, at the entrance to Minor Pools. And we took a little walk down the river to see what we could see. We left before the sun rose to hit the gate and the dirt towards Mana Pools. We saw an absolutely magnificent sunrise. It's quite some distance from the control gate to the reception at Mana Pools on some really rutted roads, but we were all very excited to get to Mana Pools and see what we could see. We stopped for tea at one of the pools on the way to reception, which was really pleasant. We spent two very peaceful nights at the Nyampi campsite. The ablutions need some love, but they were mostly clean and camping right on the edge of the mighty Zambezi, where the hippos guffawing and the bee eaters calling, was perfect. The jackalberry trees were in blossom and smelled divine. The sausage trees were past the prime of their blooms but were still magnificent. The albelia trees were in full pot. They are interesting in that their pots are an important source of food for elephants and many antelope. Elephants are known to stand on their hind legs to get at the pots. Apparently the famous wild dog pack that make Mana Pools their home were in hiding as they had very new pups so we did not see them. Our two days were very relaxing and we did see the endemic Lillian's lovebird. Quite difficult to get good photos but well, I was really excited to see them. I had a very close encounter with an elephant while I was prepping dinner one night. I was grating carrots and he was trying to get at the albedia pods behind me. I very calmly moved the pods closer to him. I was concerned that he may step on Francis' portable solar panels, but as always, I was amazed as to how very graceful elephants are. He was so calm, I honestly felt I could have handed him the pods, but one never knows. However calm elephants are, or however used to people they are, they are still wild animals and as such deserve 100% respect. After Mana Pools, we were headed to Zambia via Kariba for a couple of days. I was sad to leave the mighty Zambezi, but we would see it again, as well as many other lakes and rivers. Next stop, Lottery Bay at Sabanga. Join us for our next adventure. We're heading to North and South Luanga. Mm -hmm.